Tyson, you're good to go for tomorrow. Are you, we talked about it before. Are you 100% now or, or no? And if not, why fight through this? Uh, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Um, I don't remember last time I was 100%. I can't, I don't think I can get back to 100%. I'm 15 years in, there's no 100%. Uh, I'm ready to go though, I'll be ready to go tomorrow night. Do you think you could qualify this strain among some of the others you've had as ranked up there in terms of severity? Uh, it does, it does. And uh, you know, we did, our, we did our job, we were very precautious. We put our work in and got me back as quick as possible. You know, at the same time, understanding the severity of the injury, but you know, um, you know right now I'm ready to go. What was your um, relationship uh, just mutual respect. Respect. Seen him in All Star games. Always talked to him. Always kind of got a good feel for him. Always respected what he did. Um, you know, watched him when he was at uh, when he was at Washington. You know, and when we competed against each other, always kind of acknowledging, you know, just of uh, you know his ability to play the game. So, uh, but beyond that, I, I didn't have much of a relationship with him, but always kind of respected his game from afar. And now, uh, it's growing every day. It's growing every day. Just. You know, obviously seeing the slow grind that he's going through right now, which he calls it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's good to get out there and get some work in with him as well. So, you know, uh, I can't wait to get him out there. Was this morning's Rooster Climber a product of your frustration from the other night, or was that something you had planned? Um, just trying to put in extra work. You know, I, uh, I had an opportunity to do that, you know, so, you know, get some conditioning, get some more conditioning, get my body in, in game form. So. You know, any opportunity I could do it, I just want to you know, get to where I should be. Like I said, the ankle and the foot injury just kind of kept me out. It set me back, um, you know, further than I would like. And, but, um, you know, but I got some time now um, along the course of these games that we got. We got uh, two back-to-backs coming up, so that's going to help. And, uh, you know, we have some opportunity to get some practice time in as well. Do you think if Giannis came into the league, say, 20 years ago, his career would look different? Uh, you know, do you think he's benefited? by showing everything he can in his game by the way the NBA has gone? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, at the end of the day, when you're talented as, as Giannis is, you can fit in any era, any system. It's that simple. After playing 40 minutes, though, were you kind of optimistic? I mean, pleased with how the ankle came, was, came up yesterday? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, Allow me to, you know, I got a lot of treatment yesterday. I came in, got a lot of treatment before our event last night. Got some today, and uh, it allowed me to go through practice. So I was pleased with that, you know. And uh, you know, tonight I will get some more treatment as well. Stay around the clock. I'm still on it. So um, and just try to prepare myself, get ready for the morning. Do you think taking Dwayne a minute to remember how to play with you, or how it fit, how he fits on the same floor with you? Just taking all of us to remember how to play. I mean, it's not just me and D-Wade. We got seven new guys. He's also taking Coach Lou as well. He's, you know, he told us as well. So it's not just about D-Wade and myself. It's about everybody. It's my first time playing with D-Rose ever. You know, now I haven't even played with him on an Olympic team before. It was my first time playing with Jeff Green and Jay Crowder, you know, and Jose. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a different, it's a different uh, thing for us all, and we have to figure out how to adjust to it, which we will. Uh, yeah, I did, and uh, you know, I have. I don't want to sit up here and say names, but that's what T. Lou is all about. He knows uh, the feel of the team. He knows what he needs to do to help us be great, and we have to uh, know what it's going to take from us to, for us to help him be great as well. So, you know, um, you know, it's great to hear that from a coach, especially for a veteran ball club, and for so many guys that we have that, you know, rightfully so, you know, we'll love to be in the game at all times. When he first took over as head coach, he, he, his first press conference after you lost to Chicago, he said, like, you guys are out of shape, and you got to get better. Um, and he did it again after, after the Boston game. Uh, did you, obviously, as players, you hear that, right? And how much of a personal responsibility is it um, outside of just the, the, what the team can do at the practice field? Um, well, you want to be in the best shape that you can be in individually, and you shouldn't have to have a coach to tell you that. Um, I think we were out of shape at that point in time because of the style of play that we had. You know, we didn't we didn't stress pushing the ball, maids and misses. Uh, we didn't stress uh, playing high tempo and getting the ball up there. So, you know, our game fit with the type of conditioning we was in. When he took over, he wanted us to do something more. He wanted us to get the ball up. You know, in four seconds across half court, so we got more time to execute the offense. He wasn't ready for that in the show. 
Uh, so uh, we know how we want to play now. And, uh, you know, but guys reminding themselves, guys come in before practice, stay after practice. You guys see that all the time. Well, not before, but after. So uh, we're, not, we're not, not too worried about that. You know, before you got hurt, people were raving about what kind of shape you were in, which is saying something considering how well you struggled at. So how frustrating was it for you to, to lose your win given just how you came into the game? Very. Very. How long does it take you to be fast uh, take me a couple weeks. As long as I'm on the court, as long as I'm on the court, I'm playing. As long as I don't have any setbacks, um, take me a couple weeks, you know. So, I'll you, be fine. Did you get to watch the games last night? I watched some of them, not all of them. We had an event last night, so, you know, I couldn't watch all of them, but I watched some of them. I didn't see any of the late games, though, but I seen some of the earlier ones before our event started. Well, do you feel like the, the Bucks are concerned that your next team on Friday uh, have changed it all or improved it all? Or? I didn't get an opportunity to watch that. Um, but I know they're, they're going to play the right way because J.K. played the right way. So that's the only way he know how to preach is to play the right way and play hard. Um, they have so many guys that's been very, very dynamic with their game. They can do multiple things. And, uh, you know, so you know, we should look forward to the challenge. It's a really good team, and they're trying to make the next jump um, in the Eastern Conference, as they stated, uh, you know, over the summer and so far throughout the season. What do you take away from an event like last night? What do I take away from it? Um, Um, uh, kind of two things. I mean, to be honest, um, it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad that um, you know, with kids that young, um, you know, have illnesses like that, and for what reason? Why? You know, they didn't have no control over it, and um, you know, and it's sad. You know. And, and obviously, you know, we hope for all of them to be able to, you know, you know, be as strong as they can and make it through whatever they're going through. And, and that is always the hope and the prayers are everything. And we want that. We want that from all the little, our little stars from last night. Um, but it just sucks that, that they have to go through anything like that. And, you know, some of them have to leave the event last night and they go back into the hospital. That's not what any of our, our little kids or little stars, and no matter, just here in Cleveland, but all over, we never want that from them. Um, so it's sad, you know, when I lead an event, I'll be very sad at, um, at the whole event. I'm sad that, you know, I, something like that, that they have to go through that. And then um, I'm able to smile at times as well and just be like, wow, for me to be in a position where I can, um, you know, give an hour, two hours to, to these kids and put a smile on their faces because everything they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome and, um, you know, it's, it's a great event. I actually noticed nobody there besides the guys. And, and the kids, our teammates, I know it's, you can hear them when we walk out on the stage, but, you know, um, I just, I, all I could see was, you know, the little kids, especially my girl that I had and, uh, and my teammates, um, you know, to be able, like I said, to be in a position where, you know, we could put a smile on kids' faces for those two hours, knowing what they're going through and, and knowing the struggles that they have to endure on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, it, it's definitely an honor and a treat and it's very humbling.